Hello and welcome back to another video. So today, me and this little fella, we're back out in Liverpool and we're starting off today's video in the Old Garden Festival. Now, today's video is all about ghost signs and ghost posts, as we're gonna call them. Just basically things from back in the day that haven't been touched or removed and they're still there to this day. So we're gonna kick things off in the Garden Festival and you've probably seen the thumbnail and read the title. We're gonna go to somewhere up by Dingle and we're gonna show you something very interesting on a ghost sign there. So without further ado, let's crack on. Right, so one of the first ghost signs we're coming up to, it's not really a ghost sign, it's just a really old sign. So along the prom is this sort of massive pumping station. And if you look closely in the top left-hand corner, that I think is an old Northwest water sign. I'll have to Google it to be sure, but Originally, ah look, there's a card in there. I thought this was all disused and deadly, but no, you can hear, hear the cogs turning. I've just seen a car in there, so someone's in there working. Right, so Friday Woods, and we're looking for some old remnants of any garden festival signage, which we do believe is uh, is on the floor. Three of them, I think Eric said. Just saying, like, you, you, you think there's three signs from the old garden festival still here? It's the train station here. You used to hang around here as kids on them rocks there. You know what? I didn't even know there was a train station here, you know? Yeah, yeah. There's a bowling green here, I think, or a social club as well. Yes, it is. That, uh, it's been a few years since I've been here, mate. I'm talking like 20, 20, 30 years. Hey, the what? There's an active station as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's a. Oh, Pleasure Island. Pleasure Island. St. Michael's Station. And the cut off the other So there's the first. Well, it's not Garden Festival, but it's Pleasure Island. And then that one, I'm assuming, was original. They've cut that off. There's no markings on that. So there's one. no markings on that's that. That's what you're looking for on the seat front. And then what we have here, which I can see right in front of me. But that's an original that, isn't it? That's original that. But obviously Pleasure Island came after the Garden Festival, so. And we have an original which I do believe is a tulip from when the Garden Festival opened in 1984. And that's the emblem of the International Garden Festival. So that was the emblem of the Garden Festival, yeah which still survives to this day, just next to St. Michael's train station. <laughs> but didn't you say there was three of these in here? There's, there's supposed to be three, but it's fine in the three. Well, if they're going to be anywhere, they're going to be on a path. That's a, pro that's a, a tarmac pro path. So, the I, the G, and the F. They should have some here. Now. Where? That's what it's supposed to mean. Is it? I, G, F. International Garden Festival. Oh, you yes. could be right there. I could be. Could be. Well, that's a, we'll have to could look be. into that. But it, I thought it was like a sort of yeah. some sort of tulip or something like that. Time. I must have missed that bit there. But yeah, that's a, it's supposed to be IGF International Garden Festival. And you and think there's three of these? There's three somewhere. Okay. Let's find them. Well, uh, we'll have a look further on up. Um, where should we go? I want to send my drone over there. Um, you get a shot from them trees. No, I'll, I'll, I'll just want to fly it above it. Oh, I see. You, you can do if you want. You can do. Well, it's not raining. Sorry, it's not raining. Right, so back into Friday Woods we go. Just another little look at the old rusty sign there. So that's one. So yeah, we'll find one. Hopefully, Eric thinks there's three. So hopefully we find the other two. But, but I don't know where the other two are, so... Well, if they're going to be anywhere, they're going to be on this path to the left, but I, I don't know, mate. I, I just can't see them being there. What about action points? Which, which direction did you come to the garden? Festival? This way. The train station... Is the only way? No, no, there was, there was various points of entry to the garden festival. But when you got off the train, this was like a little walk through to the main, one of the main gates. So there's nothing down there. We've been down there. As you see there, we found one ghost sign. 
And a, co a ghost lamppost. Well, so one's better than none, mate. Do you know what I mean? Ghost lamppost. There's a, there's a, there's, a, there's, a there. there's like a wall. See, I haven't looked into the history of this place. Ah, there's another one. Maybe go up here and have a look what's up here. Oh, it's pissing down now. Yeah, so that's an original sign as well. From back in the day, and as you can see, it's uh, they've taken away um, Garden Festival and also... Yeah, there's two being cut off there. So they've taken away the Garden Festival and Pleasure Island and just left what's needed, to be honest with you. So... Yeah. We'll take a walk up here. Let's just have a little walk up here, see if anything's up there, and then we'll come back down here. Because you never know, you it's never not, know. They're not close together. Um. Yeah, but I mean, there's, so there's one, two, and there's one down this. So this. I reckon it'd be on three corners of entrance, so there's a good chance the one be come up from Otter's Pool, and one come from the city. Yeah. If you find one, saying. Station. We've got. Well, I mean, oh, you mean the actual the thing the, on the, the floor? The on the floor. Yeah, the, I think the, the, there'll be at three points. So one from Otter's oh, Pool. Oh yeah, yeah. Cause so like, yeah, because when you said there was three here. Yeah, so where's the tra that's where the traffic comes from. So if you're going to get the train... Well, there's one here, there, one on the dock road, and one yeah. over, I think, one over there, so... So there will be... This is new, this for the houses. This is definitely new for the houses. See, I, I, like I said, I, I haven't looked into the history of this place, but this is Priory Woods. I'm assuming there's some sort of Priory here, I don't know, at one point. Look at, look at the... Ah, yeah. Yeah, look, well, Pride, Pride yeah, Pride Wood. It's a cross. And it's definitely a little bit religious. So it's definitely, there's been a Pride here. What's this in here, look? Yeah. Right, okay, so we're going to proceed on and uh, so try and find... Well, I'm assuming it's down there because, you know, that little arch we walked through. There's like remnants of something. Right, so this was the Priory, look. The Priory. And the Priory. Yeah, it says, says on there as well. So I'm assuming, and one can only assume, it was this. Yeah, could be, yeah. And that little arch we walked through before. Was the doorway into it? Was the doorway into it? Maybe, I don't know. Yeah, maybe so, yeah. That's, that's the building, because the wall there. Yeah, look there, see. Yeah. The old what was over here? Should we have a little look over there? Should we go through here? Let's go and have a look. Because we need to check all avenues and areas out, don't we? <clears throat> but that, uh, I reckon the three sides are three points of entry. Oh, the three points of entry, they will be, yeah. Do you know what? Until you mentioned that thing about the lettering, I'd never give it any thought, mate. Yeah, International Garden Festival. Very clever, very clever. Not in there? No, not in there. What's that there? On that wall? A ghost sign. Is it a ghost sign? Well, what is that? I don't know. It's not related to the garden festival anyway. <coughs> oh, nearly slipped. <coughs> Right, so we're just leaving Priory Woods and there's another little ghost, ghost post we call them, eh? Just call, call, them, call them ghost posts. Yeah, there's one here. This here, look. So as you can see, that's original from back in 1984 and everything else has been chopped off. And the only thing that remains at the moment is St. Michael's Station. Take them off as a keepsake. You mean stolen? Looks like yeah. Craft, it could be. I don't know. We'll head down here anyway. We'll go and see another one which is down here. See if we can find any more along the way, but I don't think there's any more. That used to be, this used to be one of the main entrances as well there. Right, so just walking along the dock road to the old Pleasure Island slash Garden Festival entrance, and we've just come across an original lamppost actually from the Garden Festival. No stamp on it, though. No stamp on it? No stamp on it. 
how mad's that? Just left there like that. So this is what we're looking for, I think, on this line. Is that what you were like? These were lighting for the garden festival, these. Yeah. So basically what you've got where we are is the Britannia pub is just down past this roundabout here. But that is an original. Wow, that that is that's a cracker that mate. That's an original lighting legend post from back in the day from 1984 that's been sat there wowza you know, what, I'm mad what you're when you're just i know i've never even all the, all the times i've walked across here things and i've just time. spotted it i remember them as a kid dotted around the place yeah, that is an old sign so we're, we're coming up to another another ghost post as we'll call it not a ghost sign i don't want to sound ignorant like but oh yeah is this another one here no, it's just the start of the gate. Oh no, it's a thing on top of that. I told George earlier on this morning that as a kid I never went to Garden Festival. Right, so what we've got here? Pleasure Island. Pleasure Island, which is pointing the wrong way. Uh, St. Michael's Station. So we've got all signage pointing the wrong way. Uh, Pleasure Island pedestrian oh, entrance. Now the entrance to Pleasure Island used to be just over there. And can we move that? Yeah, we can move it, Eric. So if anyone wants to go to Pleasure Island, yeah, you're now pointing the right way. Uh, yeah, they're all the right direction now. Look at that. A really caring citizen has just fixed everything for the Look at that. It's all about caring, folks. But again, an original sign from back in the day. Um, and as I say, that was the one of the original entrances to, well, the original entrance to. Uh, Pleasure Island in the 90s. Uh, is it worth checking up there? That used to be an entrance, you know. Up here. I don't know if there's anything else on the floor, though. So we're just coming up to another video, which I'm still in the process of making, which is Dingle Point. I've done a trailer quite a while ago, and I'm still yet to finish the video. So there's a sign here. Could you move with any of the plant shrubs since in this strip forbidden for fenders and chestnuts will be crushed? Barrett Chester Limited. That's an old sign that. That's Barrett Holmes, that isn't it? Yeah, look well, dead old sign that. Yeah. Just uh, for the record as well, these pipes along the dock road, uh, Maisie Alleviation, Maisie SG Pollution Alleviation Scheme, MEPAS. So that's like basically a, a sewer vent. And what you've got underneath all this road now is like a two to three hundred foot shaft which basically is just one massive sewer that was built in the 80s <coughs> pardon me <coughs> and getting in that is an absolute mission but that's work in progress as well i think right is this as a single point yeah i'll show you now oh yeah oh, yeah can you get in there so as i've just mentioned uh we're coming up to something again quite historical and quite uh well quite good to look at in fact i've done a trailer a few months ago now on Dingle Point. Now Dingle Point was a, a rock face and it basically it was a point that pointed out into the Mersey. Now long before this road was put in, the original shoreline, believe it or not, to the Mersey was actually here, actually came up to here. And the rock face, they literally just sort of carved through it. Or I think, no, did they? No, they didn't. I don't, I don't think they touched the, the rock face. So if the Mersey came up here, so the original water line was here. So I'm assuming that this now, this rock face you're looking at, Dingle Point, has been untouched since since they put this road in. Because I thought originally they carved through it. Yeah. But if you if you think on the original before they built the problem that the Maisie come up to here. used to come up to here. So that was that was Dingle Point. That that was that rock face there. So that's been untouched. So. Again, it's work in progress and it's one of them. I started the video, I've done a trailer and um, I haven't finished it. So stay tuned for that one because that's very interesting. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get in there somehow and sort of get right up and close and personal. But as you can see, it's weeping some water as well. So to get up there would be fantastic. But yeah, Dingle Point still remains to this day, just along here. Coming up to the Britannia as well, another fun fact, the only surviving working thing from the original Garden Festival back in the day, it's still called the Britannia Inn, 
but it's never closed and since 1984 when it was put here it's it's been here ever since and it's the only this, this actually opens for the garden festival this was this was put inside the garden festival so cross here, here and we'll go back up round to <clears throat> so it's now called the Britannia Inn Stonehouse Peter and Carvey. Yeah, original, one of the original pubs from the Garden Festival. Or the only pub actually that was put in the Garden Festival, I should say. Yeah, another fun fact there for you folks. So I've just come across this little mound as well, and I think I think it's from the Garden Festival. I don't quite know um, well I'm not quite sure to be honest with you. It just looks a little bit odd. Looks like a do you know what it is? Like a hornet's nest. It could a be. A termite mound slash whatever. Do you know what it could be? What? Seriously. They've got the termite mound or ants. It's either ants and ant mound. Oh, they've, they've put things down. They've filled it. it with concrete. Yeah, you could have done, yeah. Out. Could have done. I wonder. Yeah, because look, it's not attached to nothing. Yeah. It's just on there. Eric could be right. Eric could be right. As I say all along, down there for dancing. Up here for thinking, and the middle part is going to be wife's lover. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see you later. So, in the now garden festival, there's some old signage as well St. Michael's Station, car park, and Riverside Walkway. So, again, another original sign from back in the uh, well, 1984. Some development going on here as well. That was the original car park from when the Garden Festival reopened in 2011 and they've now put trees there and I think they're opening some sort of other sort of uh, park just where the Overspill car park used to be so uh, interesting to um, see development going on here and I'll probably keep you up to date because I'll probably come back at some point there's a couple of things we need to see or we you know what we've missed as well today so um, yeah, I'll keep you all updated on that. Right, so we're on our second location and we're on Belvedere Road. Belvedere School to the left, uh, Princess Park just up to the top. Now, apparently this used to be the site of an old fire station, but from when I was a kid, the fire station remember used to be there. So what we've got here is EV, uh, EWS, now Emergency Water Supply. Now, back in the Blitz, when Liverpool was getting bombed and all the sort of water supply was getting ruptured and stuff like that, there was emergency water supply set up in tanks. Now this one still remains to this day on this building, as you can see. Now the 200 yards, and there's an arrow pointing that way, and the number 77 was the number of the tank. Yeah, that's right, yeah. yeah. So, so you can make up the 77 so Just well. make up the 77 there, yeah. and then the 200 yards, which could be seen visibly, and then the arrow pointing that way. But the water tank to this day, I don't know where it is. It's um, but look at that. <laughs> yeah, one of the old, uh, one of the old yeah. fire hydrant signs. Yeah. So yeah, the water tank, it could be underground, it could be whatever, but no way, no one knows where it is to this day. Like, so yeah, apparently this used to be an old fire station. How many times you go past things like this and you don't even know that? I know. And All the years, I mean, I used to come. The history. My dad used to take us to the park. We used to walk down here and then that way. But obviously we didn't come this way, but I never even knew that this was a thing. Like, it's just totally and utterly bizarre. Why is the find out? Let's just... Uh... I'll have to Google map it from, like, back in the day, see what this thing used to be, because um, it looks... I don't know. Does it look like the remnants of a fire station? I don't know. From, from, Anything on the side there? Just a door that's bricked up, in it? Could have been, I don't know. Yeah, that is a cool find, and I've got to thank Eric for this today's video because obviously I am the brainchild behind all these videos, of course, you know. And when he said, I've got an idea, let's um, go and do this, I was like, Yeah, come on, good idea, Eric. I'll give you the I'll give you the shot, I'll give you the chance. Yeah, no, we need to go that way, round the back, and we'll, we'll have a look. We'll come up here and have a look. Okay, then. Let you just waffle on. So from what I can remember back in the day, when I was a kid, I used to live so around here. This way. Used to come up this road, my dad used to take us to the park up here. And the fire station used to be there. See there? Yeah. So I don't know if it was knocked down or it was just taking over, but I can't remember to be honest. 
we'll walk around the, the thing here, around the back, and then come back and up on ourselves. Now, there's a little road here. But yeah, I think it was that. It, it must have been set, set back here. This must have been the fire station at the back. And then that house was, that house has always been there. Well, count 200 yards then, I Well, at 200 yards would be, would be from there to there, won't it? So the water tank could still be under the ground here. Yeah, but there'd be an access point to switch unless It's now the Kingdom Hall of Jehovah. So. so that's a good fight. I like that one. That's a, that's that's, a good that's, one. I'll give you that. That's good, that. So we're going to skate around the back. See, so he said, did you see that? He said he's actually going to give me that. <laughs> Look, is that like doors for the fire things used to go in there? Fire engines. So this, you definitely reckon this was the fire station? I think this was the fire station. I think. I'll have to ask my dad, but uh, pretty sure that used to be the fire station. So like I mentioned before, when I was a kid, I remember the old fire station just being sort of in here. When I say in here, I mean where this is now. It used to be down there. That used to be the fire station, I think. See that? See that there? Right, and this is, this is, what? From here to the end, with that road where we came out, opposite, um, Prinny Park entrance, yeah. is 200 of my steps. So 200 yards will be slightly longer than that. That's the distance you're So the at. distance from that? 200 that. yards, so that's So anywhere. it could be from there to there, 200 yards then. Do you reckon? Possibly. No, 200 yards, if, you, if that's fair, that's like a lot less than 200 yards, that makes sense. Because when you think about it, I'm just up 200 of my steps just from here to the road down there. Mm. Right past all the houses. Possibly. The Possibly. So but yeah, I originally thought that was the fire station, but behind it was the fire I'm station. Not you look at it. Some little steps of mine. There's 200 miles, but they're not yards. I'm in. So that's not 200 yards. That's 200 that is an old thing over there, like a. Metal thing. Yeah. So that's not 200 yards, mate. So 200 yards, yards is further down, down then. Yeah. Just one last look at the sign before we go. So that is actually cool. That, that is cool, that mate. Anything World War Two, mate, I love. So 200 there. yards would be further I'd down. Say, I'd say just past the gates then. Yeah, could be, yeah. Could be. 200 yards. That's... Done 200 I think yards. that was probably the, the old fire station and then they moved it over there or something. Maybe at a later date. Do you know what I mean? It's got some, like... It's got some remnants, like, we just don't know what. Right, so thanks for coming along that ghost post, ghost sign journey. So I've got two people to thank this uh, this month for channel support. Now the first one is Chris Code. Thank you yet again, mate, for your coffees. And also Fred Jellebeck. Thank you very much for your kind coffees as well. All money does go back into the channel. And if you do fancy supporting the channel and buy me a coffee, the link is in the description. So... What's coming up on the channel next? Well, quite a lot of unseen stuff, as per usual. I try and pride this channel on, you know, things that haven't been done or seen before, and stuff like that, and I think it's working anyway, you know. So, um, yeah, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna wrap it up, and as always, see you later, and we'll catch you in the next video.